Hello. Good evening, teacher. What's up? How are you? Fine. Listening music. What are you listening to now? A band called The Pretty Reckless. Do you remember the 2000 movie The Grinch? Yes. Do you remember Cindy Lou? Oh, yeah, yeah. She has a, a very successful heavy metal band. Really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's interesting. Sounds great. Did you ever watch the movie, the Walter Mitty, the life of Walter Mitty? This was Ben Ben Stiller. Yeah, I remember the the the, the name that, of the movie. That mo have you seen it? Have you seen that movie? Actually, not. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie, and the soundtrack of that movie is nice. It's, it's yeah. I recommend you if you if you're ever bored. It's a good movie, really. It's it's not comedy. It's it's like I don't know. Uh, it's like drama, but um, I really enjoyed that movie. That was good. My favorite movie of all times is The Crow. The Crow is good. With the Brandon soundtrack Lee. too. Yes. Yes, the soundtrack is great. The song I of think, Nice Nails. I, I think they did a remake of that movie, no? There are three movies. Remakes or three or, three or four, four movies? No. A sequel. Oh, three okay. sequels. But, uh, all, all are ugly movies. <laughs> Only the first are good. But I like The Crow. The movie's very dark. It's always dark. It's a, it's a comic, I think. Yeah, it's like, um, what's the name of that movie with Nicolas Cage? I don't like comic books, but I love him. Uh, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. But the first part, I like that one. It's great. It's a great comic. Man, that's so cool. He, he sends you to hell. The man with, the, with fire and hell. Yeah, he sends you to hell, and before you go to hell, you see all the sins in his eyes. <laughs> wow, that's so, wow, you. Guilt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Part two was, uh, but part one was good. All right, welcome, people. Hello, Jose Moises Evaristo. Hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm on vacation mode. <laughs> are, are you on vacation already? Uh, from, from tomorrow uh, at the mediodía, at the middle. Noon. At noon. Yes. Wow, from tomorrow noon? That's cool. I, I'm going to have uh, 17 days. 17 days. Yes. I think that I am uh, one of the of one of people with more with uh, most vacation in in year. Wait, wait. Why 17 days? Uh, well, the thing is, we we use the British uh, system, and and they have two weeks, and 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 three days and four days more. Wow. Uh, per year, we have like four months. Really? Vacation. Oh man, that's so. I envy you. <laughs> but I think that it, it is uh, weird in some uh, uh, in some ways because when I am on vacation, all my friends, uh, my girl is working, <laughs> and I and I just have uh, time only for me. Yeah, that's true. Because most of people is working. 
It's true. Um, I actually like to work in vacation. I don't like vacation very much. Okay. Because I time to for paint house, uh, go to the uh, uh, mechanical. How say to the mechanic? To the mechanic and 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 fix something about my car and things like that. There, there is a good mechanic by your house. Uh, I, I don't know it. He's very, very good. Y es bien, bien, y que bien raro porque es bien educado. Who is? What is his, his name? His name is Daniel. Daniel, he lives by there. Mm -hmm. He's very, he's very respectful. Okay. If you ever need a mechanic, I have his phone number. Oh. He lives... By the Texaco down the little street, like if you're going to Boulevard de los de los Héroes. Oh, okay. But uh, the little street, he lives all the way at the end. Okay. Very yeah. near from my house. Yes, and he 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 decided to work independent because Mareros lo renteaban mucho. There were too much money. Okay. So he decided to work a domicilio. <laughs> ah, okay. So that, maybe that's I maybe uh, I am going to mute, mute him because my car is giving me some problems nowadays. Yeah, his name is Daniel. Let me see if I have his phone number. I'll give it to you right now. Okay, thank you. There you go. Okay. I recommend you. He's very good. Got it. Thank you. Okay. All right, class. So, uh, welcome, Neftali. Welcome, Evaristo. Jose. Why are there two Neftalis? Good evening, Mister. Hello. Uh, I am. I am. I connect in my computer and my cell phone at the same time. Oh, okay. Why? <laughs> because uh, my my cell phone. I used to that like a microphone oh, wow. and to listen the audio. And my computer is to use the camera. Okay. That's a good strategy, really? Yeah. It's a, it makes sense. It makes sense. Tiene sentido. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Oh, no, we did the listening. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> Oops. All right, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. We yes. did this. Remember the listening about the movie set? Okay, so let's let's do this one more time, the listening part. Uh, I hear you're studying filmmaking. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted to do. So what has to happen to make a movie? First, the director divides the script into scenes. Oh, why is that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script, Different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So how is the final version made? Well, the takes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. 
And there's your movie. Four. Cheryl, these are great photos. What's your secret? Well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes. Pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day, but that isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. And it's true. I, I, I like taking photography. And um, sometimes when it rains at four in the afternoon, it's so beautiful to take pictures. Sometimes when it's sunny, 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 it's a little difficult because you fight the sun. You fight with light. But it is an expensive hobby. Yes and no. Yes and no, because uh, photography is, is three basic things you need. Okay. You need to use the, it's called ISO. ISO is the light okay. that comes in the camera. The, the shutter, the disparador. Yes. And well, that, I mean, those things, they go together. Okay. And the focus. So yes, it's expensive because the more you learn, you want to take even more pictures like, mm -hmm. oh man, now I am ready for uh, I don't know, uh, now I am ready for skydiving, you know, so you need better cameras. And... But, but it's very interesting. I, I like taking pictures. So listen, it says the festival, I'm sorry, the final version of a movie. It's in an order, doesn't have sound effects, or is put together by an editor and director. Is put together by the editor and director. director. Good. Number four, Cheryl says a good landscape photographer has to understand. How weather can affect a photo. Yes, how weather can affect the photo. Okay, number two. Let's listen to this audio. One. Hey, Ray, that was quite a party last night. Yeah, it was fun. I'm still cleaning up, though. What are you doing with all the bottles and cans? I'll take the cans to the recycling center and throw away the bottles. Oh, no. You should take the bottles, too. Nah, I don't get any money for recycling glass. No, but I think everyone should be required to recycle glass anyway. It's a waste to throw it away. Yeah, but recycling centers should be required to pay people who return cans and bottles. Then they won't throw them away. Two. Hey, Danielle. I saw you biking to work yesterday. Oh, yeah. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic downtown and get some exercise at the same time. But there are very few bike lanes, aren't there? And in any case, cars use them. I know. Drivers who do that should be fined. A hundred dollars at least. It's so dangerous. Cyclists don't always behave so well either. I've seen them ride side by side and not allow cars to pass. Yeah, and I've seen cyclists without helmets too. Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear helmets. And if they don't, they should be fined a hundred dollars. Um, remember what is the difference? They should or they must? 
Yes, usually is for something that that you suggest to do, and most is for uh, is uh, when you are uh, telling something in imperative mode or legal mode. Yes, and 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 it's how important you want it to be, right? So listen, Ray doesn't recycle glass because he doesn't get any money. He doesn't get any money. Danielle bought a bike because she wants to reduce traffic. I have a friend that lives in Bulgar Bulgaria. And in that country, you are obligated to recycle. I was watching a video that uh, one man in, in YouTube, a man in, in Canada was talking about if you don't want to recycle, you pay more taxes. It is optional, but if you don't recycle, you are going to pay uh, more money. It's true. It's true. It should be like that. Okay, listen to this reading. I'm going to read. Um, animated movies aren't just for kids anymore. Some of the most popular, some of the most popular movies of 2000, 2010 were Toy Story 3, How to Train Your Dragon, and Despicable Me. In fact, Pixar's Toy Story 3 became the highest grossing animated movie ever made. Animated movies are fast becoming an important phase in the movie industry. Let's see if I can still do this better. Making animated movies can take much longer than making a traditional movie. This is, the, this is partly because approximately seven hours are needed to render one single frame of an animated movie. In fact, some frames can take up to 39 hours to render. Can you imagine that? Toy Story took 1,000 84 days or nearly three years to make. Most animated movies have big names, stars at, attached to them to voice the characters. Tom Hanks voiced the character of Woody in Toy Story movies, while Angelina Jolie was cast as the voice of Tigress in Kung Fu Panda. Using famous actors to voice animated characters is meant to tempt adults into going to animated movies with their children. Studio executives know that the bigger the name, the more likely adults will tag along with their kids. To further <laughs> emphasize the impact animated movies have had on the movie industries, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Science, began giving out Academy Awards for Best Future Film in 2001. The prestige of winning such an important award result in more ticket sales for theaters and more profits for animated movie makers. So let me see, a good title for the article would be Animated movie results in ticket sales and award. Good. Render, paragraph two, means? Translates, translate from row to the final form. To the final form, okay. Uh, number three, cast, means? She use actors for parts. Good. Number four, animated movies have had? Positive. A positive effect on movie industry, yes, good. You know, talking about that, I remember I also was a teacher for um, Cinemark. 
I used to go to Cinemark to the to the one in Gran Villa. In the top are the offices of Cinemark. Do you know how movies, uh, how movie theaters make money? No. Selling snacks. Yes. They don't make money from. They don't make money from. From the movie, they make money from popcorn. I didn't know that. And one thing that was very interesting, I always thought, let's say um, Toy Story. I always thought that they send Toy Story to Cinemark, veanla, vendanla, and den un porcentaje, right? But no, Cinemark actually buys the movie. They have to buy the movie. So you imagine it? So that's why the uh, food in the movies is very expensive. But the popcorn smells really good. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't go to the movies anymore. I download everything. Mm -hmm. I think the last movie I actually saw in the movie theater was super bad. A lot of time ago. Ooh, yes. long, long ago. Yes. 2005, I think. Or yeah, something like that. Now I download them. Because, like, for example, when Joker came out, I said, hey, I get over it. I want it. But then I look and I said, wow, Joker, full HD, 4K, I download it. <laughs> My wife gets angry because she says, let's go to the movies. I said, no. Why? Because we're married. <laughs> it's not necessary anymore. <laughs> it's not necessary anymore. No, it's not the same popcorn. The way I compare popcorn. But you know. Hey. People say you have to work with your tools. So if I got internet, I got tools to watch movies. So let's see this exercise. Write the words. Instructions. Anita accidentally. Anita accidentally deleted an important file. So her boss wasn't prepared for an important meeting. Read the sentences and choose the words below. The one that best defines it, just type in the word, no capital letters or period is necessary. We understand, we understand criticism, correct? Yes. Excuse? Yes. Prediction? Yes. Suggestion? Yes. Warning? Yes. And reaction? And reaction. Okay, number one, it says, you should keep track of your computer files. What is that? A suggestion. Suggestion. Yes, it says, it says suggestion. If you do it again, you'll lose your job. Warning. Yeah, it's a warning. Warning. Oh, live with that warning. <clears throat> You're so irresponsible, you lost everything. Great distance. It wasn't your fault. Someone else deleted the file. Use. You'll probably find a file in the trash or on your computer. Prediction.
<clears throat> okay, here it says the next part. Instructions, complete the paragraph. Use the passive of the verbs given, just type in the verb. To prepare for a TV talk show, research has to be done. Done. Research has to be done to find interesting guests, such as movie stars or authors. Number two, next. The selected people must be ranked. Be ranked. Good. Must be ranked in order of preference. Number three, the top choices are contacted. Are contacted. The top choices are. Um, Mr. Yes. You are you writing the incorrect space. Oh yes, you're right. Thank you, Neftali. I ranked. That's why I was wrong. Thank you. If some of them are unavailable, the next people on the list are invited. Are invited to appear instead. Must be right. Yeah. Okay, let's do C, join the sentences. Instructions, join the sentences with who or that make any changes where needed. Examples, TV sitcoms, future actors. They are recognized by viewers around the world. TV sitcoms, future actors, who are recognized by the viewers around the world would be the correct. Next, it says a newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research. He or she is often new to journalism. A newspaper clerk who is often new to journalism has to do a lot of research. Number, uh, let's do number one. A gaffer has to carry out the lightning design. He or she works on a movie or on a TV crew. What is the correct? A gopher. So listen, a gaffer has to carry out the lightning design. He or she works on a movie or TV crew. A gaffer has to work on a movie or TV crew. Okay, so I'm sorry, you said a gaffer has to what? A gaffer has, has works on a movie or TV crew. Okay, did anybody else do this? No teacher, I did, I don't understand it, this uh, test. I have a, a different a different answer. Okay, <laughs> but remember what I told you that sometimes the answers can vary because it's dep it depends to you. Remember what I told you, Los Planes? Los Planes is famous for pupusas 
and is a tourist attraction or Los Planes is a tourist attraction and is famous for pupusas. The two are correct. It just depends on you. Who, what do you want to make more important? So here it says a gaffer has to carry out the lightning design. He or she works on a movie or TV crew. A gaffer comma, who works on a movie or TV crew has to carry out the lightning design. So for this person, a gaffer who works on a movie or a TV crew is more important. And they have to carry out the lightning design is, is additional information. Okay. Okay, teacher. Number two, it says, dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing film scripts. Answer, dialogue editors are sound technicians who specialize in editing film scripts. Or dialogue editors are sound technicians that specialize in editing scripts. Or, <laughs> or dialing directors are sound technicians that specialize in editing filming scripts. Those three are correct. That's like what I told you. It depends for you what is more important. Number three, it says, a property master is responsible for buying props. They are handled by the actors. The correct is a property, a property master is responsible for buying props that are handed by the actors. Number four, critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than the new movies. I'm sorry. Critic films, critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week. That's a cool job. Can you imagine it? So critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than 10 movies, than 10 new movies a week. Can you imagine you get paid good money just to watch movies? Yes, I think uh, that the worst can turn into a bird, a bird war. Just watching movies, movies again and again and again, always doing the same. Yeah, but remember the movie's different. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. Maybe. Yeah, I think I think that should be a, like for um, movie fans. Okay. Uh, number four, it says critics write film reviews. They sometimes. Oh no, I'm sorry. Number five. Executive producers aren't involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget. So it says executive producers, comma, who are responsible for the budget aren't involved in shooting a film. Okay, and that's, that is where we finish. Let me check how good you understand this. <laughs> Let me see, Juan Ramirez. Yes. Wanda Pignato. Can you give me an example of Vanda Pignato using additional information, the main information? Okay. Wanda Pignato was the first lady in El Salvador and, and she was from Brazil. Okay, good. Very good. That's enough. 
Wanda Pignato was the first lady from El Salvador and she is from Brazil. Yes. Okay. Um, Mariano. Yes, teacher. Listen to yes. this. Milovan de, de Jorik. Mm, Milovan de Jorik was um, a manager for the national team. And he was from Yugoslavia, I think. Okay. No, I think he was from Serbia. Oh, yeah, he was from Yugoslavia, right? Last, do, do you remember Milovan de yeah. George? Yeah. And also, we, I had the opportunity to train with Kirill Gosinowski. Oh, you did? You trained the with assistant. Him? Yeah. <laughs> Is Kirill dead? He, he died, didn't he? Yeah, yes. Actually, yes. Hey, tag question. <laughs> <laughs> Kirill died, didn't he? Yes. He was a tough man. Really? He was tough? Yeah. He usually loves the discipline. A lot of discipline. Oh. Hey, well, Alonso, so El Salvador plays today, no? Yeah. Or the correct way is El Salvador loses today. They won actually, but it's not they enough. Won? One to IT against IT. What was the score? Two one. But it's not enough. They had to score four goals, five goals actually. This is no. for the Pre Olimpica. Yes. yes. We are out. Yes, but the, the mayor team plays too. Major team is playing right now. Okay, so the major team is playing right now. And that is for what? From the Qatar 2000. 2022. Oh, yeah, la, la eliminatoria. Today? Today is the first day. The first match. And El Salvador is with who in the team? Eh, Granada. Granada. Siempre cuando empiezan esas cosas, yo me siento tonto de mi geografía porque empiezan a salir unos países que nunca he oído. I remember Surinam. ¿Y eso qué? ¿Dónde queda? Or... Martinica. Yes. Granada. Caína. Yes. Y uno se siente algo tonto porque... Híjole, qué pena, no sé. Que eso existía. San Kieves y Nieves, parece. Ah, uh es -huh. true. All right, so that's good. Let me see, Evaristo. Coca Cola. Hello, Evaristo. Okay, I think we lost Evaristo. Neftali, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Mr. Oh, okay, wait, wait. We got Evaristo back online. So, Evaristo, can you give me an example of um, Coca Cola? Coca Cola is the most popular drink. Of the world. Okay. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> and it's from the US. I don't have more information. Let me see. Okay. Coca Cola is the most important drink in the world, and only eight people know the formula. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, it's true, it's true. Can you imagine that only eight people? 
Do you know the story of Cuba Libre? No. 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 I don't know the history. Um, back then, when Cuba and United States were friends, Cuba had problems with Spain. Big problems. So I think they were going to fight in United States. Se metió and said, hey, Cuba is our friend. So Spain retracted, retracted and um, Cuba decided to get the most popular drink of Cuba, which is rum, and mix it with the most popular drink of the United States, Coca-Cola. And they named it Cuba Libre, Cuba Libre de España. So that's where the story Cuba Libre comes from. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. All right, so yeah, Naftali, I mean, Coca-Cola, there's very interesting facts about Coca-Cola. Like Coca-Cola is the most popular drink in the world and only eight and people know it. Sorry? The Coca-Cola um, was created that. The coca leaf, leaf that's just ubicated in, in South America. Coca, where is located in South America? And uh, the coca plant. Okay. In Bolivia. No, no, but we're talking about Coca-Cola, not the plant. Uh, but, but the plant, but this beverage, is elaborated with a plan. I listen that. Oh, with coca plant. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Okay, Moises. Yes. Rodolfo Parker. <laughs> well, well, Rodolfo Parker it has a, a dark past. He covered the the murder of the, I don't know how to say, Jesuitas. Jesuits. Jesuits. And he he has a lot of uh, relatives in the Asamblea Legislativa. <laughs> His mother. <laughs> 92 His... years. <laughs> that is a joke. Yes. Con que cara, con que cara podían decir. The government is corrupt. <laughs> I really, really no me aguanto for May 1st. Or no, not May 1st, the weeks after that, because I don't know if, if Bokele is going to get revenge. Yes. Um, do you know if the fiscal will continue? I think that not. Yeah, maybe not. But it is going to be a, a witch hunting. <laughs> it's go it's a going to be a witch hunt, yes. It's going to be a very good um very good novella for for a few months. Evaristo. Evaristo, you're a Christian, correct? Yes. Um, what religion are you, Evaristo? Um, it's Protestant. Like, um, Protestant, okay. Yeah, Protestant. Okay, uh, Evaristo, can you tell me about Jonah. Jonah. Uh, is is the prophet right? What's I don't the... know. Really, I don't know. 
But Jonah is the man who lived in the fish for three days. Yeah, yeah. Was the prophet and who who lived <laughs> inside the fish uh, three days and night. Good. And people believe that. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird story. Yeah. I saw a meme de que los cristianos se burlaban de los de los musulmanes por sus creencias. And the musulmanes say, oh yeah, and they believe a man lived in a fish. Uh -huh. uh, Okay, very good. So in this case, Evaristo, two things were important about Jonah. Yes. You actually said two important things. He was a prophet and he lived inside a fish. For you, yeah. what is more interesting or more important than you, that's the one you start with. Um, he was a prophet. That's Who the... lived inside... <laughs> A fish for three days. Yeah, um, because the book of Jonah is that's the that's the story. Like uh, who, he he lived and um, and the fish uh, in the fish inside the fish uh, three days and nights, like three days. There's so, a book about Jonah. I don't know that. Yeah, the. Uh, he ha it, it has uh, four chapters. The book has four chapters? Yeah. Or four parts? Yeah. It's, oh, it, okay. It goes, it goes uh, chapters. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Neftali. Neftali, are you there? Okay, Mariano, are you there? Mister. <laughs> okay, there's, there's Neftali. Eh, Neftali, la, eh, la, el cipitio. Uh, re repeat, mister. Yes, el cipitio. A legend. A traditional legend. I don't know. Tell me. Remember, give me one important fact and one additional information. The Cipitio was a traditional legend. Um, Counting talking El Salvador and another countries. Um, wait, wait. So El Cipitio exists in other countries? Yes. Yes. And I'm, Honduras. I'm Honduras. Talking in Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought it was only it's similar to um, El Cadejo. El Cadejo is in Mexico. Or El Padre Sin Cabeza, right? Every pueblo has a Padre Sin Cabeza. Yeah. Yes. Siempre hay, hay tres viejitos que lo vieron. Okay, so El Cipitio no. is a, uh, continue please, El Cipitio. And what's a traditional legend of El Salvador, Dana, talking here in, in wow. another countries. Another thing that is, is the sum of the Siwana, it's, it's Okay, correct? but yes, but one thing, you said El Cipitio was, and no, El, El Cipitio is a tradition. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a legend I, in El Salvador. I, am, I was a uh, mistake, but the correct is the correct word is. Yes, yeah, so, so it's, it's, uh, so it's, a, it's a traditional legend of El Salvador. And his mother is La Siguanaba. Yes. And his mother have a punish, a punish? No, una, it's called a curse. Castigo. A punishment. No, se llama curse. Curse is 
¿Qué le pasa a uno si supuestamente la leyenda dice que si uno quiebra un espejo le cae maldición? Curse. Lo puse en el chat, a curse. Yes, curse. Yes. A curse. So she had a curse by the grandfather of El Cipitio, is, is La Loc. La Loc. Yes, got La Loc. Really? I, yeah, wow, I am learning. I didn't yes, know he had a grandfather. The got the la Loc. <laughs> and is La Loc from El Salvador? It's Mexican, but it's, it's mentioned that in Mexico, well, in, in, okay, in Salvador it's mentioned. It's Maya. The, the TV too. series of Channel 10. Oh, I remember they used to they used to play CPT on Channel 10. Yes, you're right. Okay, good. Josué Mariano, are you there? Yes, teacher. Let me see. Let me see one thing. Salvador has a score. <laughs> yeah. Uh, jo eh, Jose Mariano. Yes. Petro. What? Petro. Petro is one of the most famous liquor in El Salvador and also is ugly. <laughs> really? Don't like <laughs> it's light. I don't like, I don't like. Oh, okay, it's one of the most famous liquor in El Salvador. Aunque yo estaba hablando de Petrov, la ciudad, pero okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> You're kidding, you're kidding. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, but very good. So you understand, right? I mean, it is it's what you want to make important. So you usually give two things. So imagine like um, Moises, you're a teacher. When somebody asks you a question, your student, usually you answer with um, interesting fact and additional information. Yes. Okay, Evaristo, who is? Who is Sanchez Ren? Who is, what was that? Who is Sanchez Seren? Sanchez Seren, um, who is? Oh. Yeah, do you remember Sanchez Seren? Yeah, Sanchez Seren was the president of El Salvador, but uh, uh, right now, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we can, we can play, who am I going to We can play with past and present. Uh -huh. Sanchez Seren was the president was, of El Salvador. Was the president of, of El Salvador, and now... He is uh -huh. still, aún es stupid. <laughs> What is that, Moises? Is that a pencil sharpener? It's the neighbor with her screwdriver, the taladro. With her drill. A drill. The screwdriver is a destornillador. Yes. You have a neighbor at nine at night that does that? Wow. Siempre hay vecinos así, man. It's like, it's like me, I have a very stupid neighbor that she likes to put uh, cat food and water for the cats. I respect that. That's good. Humanitarian, love for animals. The problem is that she likes to put the food outside her house and in my block, we are seven houses. So sometimes we have seven houses and in the street, 28 cats. 
28 cats waiting for food. Sounds like a plague. Yes. And now the cats go on the top of the cars. And they like, scratch. Um. <laughs> they scratch. They are a problem. How do you say plague? Plague. Plague. And yeah. one time I go to the neighbor and I talk to her. And I say, look, I respect that you like animals. Good for you. Let me cooperate. I can buy food for the cats. That's no problem. But please put the food in the park. A una cuadra está. Says, no, es que me queda muy lejos. Y no, 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 no. So um, she, she doesn't talk to me. But sometimes I like to get her angry because when she when she is in the street and I look, I tell my wife, mi amor, ya hay otro gato muerto. <laughs> of course, it's a lie, though. But you quiero que ella oiga, like para que diga, uy, Dios mío, están poniendo veneno. So I, I do it, baby, ya hay otro. And I think it's working because I don't see her put food anymore. Smart. Yes. Okay, class, before we leave, so what are your plans for vacation? Me, I have to work. <laughs> well, that's good. It's, it's that season, I have to work. But you work, you work, uh, freelance or you are an employee? Uh, yeah, it's like an employee. Okay. I don't like vacation very much because when you are married, you have no vacation. It's like, Mira, vamos a ir a no sé dónde me muero. Y no sé qué. Mira, fíjate que mi mamá quiere y no sé qué. Vamos a ir a visitar a la tía. O sea, you know, so, uh, and sometimes, sometimes all you want is just to be home and not do anything. Just relax. But if I have the opportunity, I will work on vacation. Moises, what are you going to do in your 17-day vacation? Well, I, I think that I am going to Kusulutan. I have some family there, and I am going to pass some days there. Okay. It, it, it is, it, it has, a, a, well, it is very hot in that place, but it is a, a, a beauty place. Okay. Have you ever been to Hikilisco? Uh, no, only in Puerto El Triunfo. I oh. don't know if it's near. I don't. I don't remember, but I recommend you go to Hikilisco. It's very nice. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of close. Okay. Thank oh you. yes, Evaristo's from Oriente. He knows. Okay, I'm going to look for for that place. Yeah, Evaristo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. No, I'm sorry, uh, Moises was saying something? Yes, I, I said that uh, Bahia de Quilisco is a famous place. It is. It's, it's very nice. And um, I remember a long, long time ago in the Spino Beach. Beautiful. It's a very beautiful beach. All right, Evaristo, what are your plans? No, I don't. I don't have plans. I don't have plans because I have to work. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of income tax to do. Yes. And I don't know. I don't. I don't have any plans. Voy a ver si realmente es migueleño, Maristo. I told you that I live in San Miguel two years, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, Evaristo, do you have you ever? Drunk Cocomal. 
No. 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 <laughs> no uh, Coco Mal. I, I have only seen this in San Miguel. And I don't know why people here in San Salvador don't invent that. It's a bag with milk and cocoa. In the bag of milk, they put um, cornflakes. So it's donde ven en licuados. So you ask for a cocomal and they give you a big bag of milk and cornflakes and milk with, um, I don't know, banana and you shake. So you drink, you drink the milk. And when you finish the milk, you eat the cereal. It's, it's called a cocomal. And I remember that because they sell it everywhere when they're vending frecos. And that's a good breakfast. So then they give you like the big bag with como fresco. They give you the bag con pajilla with a straw and a spoon. Hey, he's interested. Yes. It sounds, it sounds good. And siempre me pregunté por qué alguien no han traído así de acá. Because there are like the puestos de licuados everywhere. But a cocomal is a cocomal. It's very good. Yes. Okay, class. Um, I really hope you have great vacations. Thank you. Thank for you, Mr. It. I enjoyed it. Okay. If anything, you have my telephone number. No problem. Si a veces no lo respondo, I'm really sorry because I am at work. Y a veces paso en reuniones all day. Uh, so, but, but I try. Si me lo mandan personal, I... I, I I answer, okay? Hey, thank you, oh, thank, thank you for everything. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Have a great oh, vacation, funny. all right? You, you, Don't you drink too. and drive. Don't drink and drive. Yes. Yes. Remember, remember. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, <laughs> remember the drink, is going to fall. the drink is going to fall and your shirt gets wet. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good, good night. night to everyone. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.